This unit will discuss standard map elements. The objectives for this lesson are to review standard map elements, review other necessary cartographic elements, and go over techniques for critiquing a map on readability and appropriate symbology. Standard map elements include scale, title, author, north arrow, date of preparation, legend, source statement, graticule or grid, and datum. Scale. A scale can be a graphical expression of a fixed distance, such as a thousand feet or one mile, such as a scale bar in this image. It can also be a textual description, such as one to 24,000 or one inch equals one mile. However, these are only useful if the map is printed at the desired output size. Digital maps such as PDF often are printed at various sizes. It is for this reason that a graphical scale is best as it will scale with the map when printed at different sizes. Title. The basic description of the map including items such as incident name and map type. The unit identifier and the local incident identifier should also be included. For example, ID-BOF-0095. The title can range from extremely fancy to simple. The CIDL will help you determine how the information should be displayed on the products. Review what the incident number is and include the year because the maps will become a historic document. It is important to note the date and time the data was collected as well. Author, the person or group that prepared the map. When there are numerous GISs assigned to one incident, it is important to be able to sort out who created which map. The name or initials of the author or authors should be small relative to the overall map. If you are producing maps larger than, one, than 11 by 17, use the one-to-one -one feature to check how large the name or initials are. The CIDL will again help you understand the protocol for the incident. Initials, initials with last name, or first and last name are all acceptable ways of indicating authorship on an incident product. North arrow, the graphical display used to orient the map correctly. This element could also include additional direction indicators for magnetic declination or grid angle. North should always be pointing towards the top of the map. The standard incident products are not the appropriate place to be creative. This is a safety issue. On the standard incident products, keep North arrow simple for ease of reproduction. The size should be appropriate with the scale of the map. Remember to watch the placement of the north arrow so that it does not overlap any existing map elements, such as the name of a landmark. Date of preparation. This should be near the author's name on the map. Software tools allow for the automatic insertion of this element onto the map with minimal effort. The production time is what date and shift the map is being made for. This means that on the night of August 27th, you are making the map for August 28th morning shift 0800. The data time is the time you process the data. August 27th at 1600, you created the fire perimeter. There may be more than one data time on one map, such as a fire line time and an IR data time. Time will always be on the 24 hour clock. Legend, the key that describes the meaning of the symbols found on the map. Big legends with extra elements can cover up critical mapped areas, so try to keep it simple. Source statement. Citations for data and or features on a map, such as its source, accuracy, coordinate system or projection, collection method, or any number of other items. Include, when applicable, the date and time that key elements of the mapped area were collected. It may be embedded in the legend or in the title box. Infrared interpretation data is identified by the time of the flight. 
Graticule or grid. This element is typically a graticule of latitude and longitude marks and numbers that allows referencing of the mapped area to the specific area on the Earth. This element can also be in the form of other grid coordinates such as UTM, state plane, PLSS, or others. When working with aviation, it is typical to use a lat-long graticule in degrees, decimal minutes, WGS84 datum. This is the coordinate system and datum of their navigation systems. Even though standards for the datum to be displayed on GPS units should be included in the IAP, the most commonplace incident personnel look for guidance on the datum for GPS units is in the maps produced on the incident. Datum. The data must be noted on the map when a graticule or grid is used or if coordinates are displayed. The correct datum is critical for GPS use. Additional cartographic elements. The CIDL is responsible for determining the incident acreage. The fire acreage labeled on the map is the reported acreage. The reported acreage is located on the 209 form and may differ from the acreage calculated by GIS analysis of the data. Disclaimers may be used if needed. Some agencies have standard language. Vicinity maps illustrate the location of the fire relative to the general area, such as a county or state. The extent box indicates the area that the map covers. If the product file name is included, it should be relatively small compared to the rest of the cartographic elements. Product file name is a reference to help reproduce the product at a later time. Map colors. Traditional USGS colors are used on the topographic backgrounds on IAPs and some other maps, with the exception that the green for vegetation is often turned clear to improve visibility of fire features. Ownership colors. There are no national interagency standards for ownership colors. However, this is an example of the Bureau of Land Management's National Ownership Color Standard. You can find this in the job aids on the GeoOps website. Remember, people in the field are relying on your maps to do their job on the fire line. Firefighter safety is the number one goal of the incident. To ensure quality control, destroy or mark up incorrect maps. If maps are being given away to incident personnel, mark them as draft or souvenirs. Maps are sought after as souvenirs. This is acceptable as long as the products are out of circulation. Maintaining the current products on incident displays is essential. Consider engaging the SIDL and your coworkers in proofreading. If you catch an error at the last minute, hand correct it so that incident staff know you saw the problem and will fix it later. Delivering the map on time is more important than how it looks. When proofreading, have multiple people check each map. Engage other situation unit staff to help look for any errors. Cartographic communication means that people can understand what the product is trying to convey. This concludes our review of standard map elements.